By pleading guilty to the criminal charges against him, Bernard Madoff brings to a close the first chapter, but only the first chapter in this extremely complicated fraud. The task now that lies ahead for prosecutors and investigators is to try to trace where the money went and can any of it be gotten back. To try to track the money, they're going to be examining um, with, uh, with like forensic accounting tools all of the ins and outs of the various accounts that Madoff used. Richard Strasburg, for years, was a federal prosecutor in the federal district in Manhattan, which is the district where the Madoff case is unfolding. Unfortunately, in, in situations like this, in Ponzi schemes, almost always a lot of the funds are lost, and lost because they've been um, spent, lost because they've been uh, put into bad investments. One thing we do know with the release of federal charges against Mr. Madoff is more about the rough architecture of this fraud. The federal prosecutors explained how Mr. Madoff recruited a staff of ill-trained and inexperienced clerks, directed them to create a flurry of customer statements and fraudulent records, um, and moved money around between banks in New York and London and Europe to give the illusion that there was some trading activity going on. But what is not clear from the federal charges is how much the people who helped him knew about what he was doing. If other people were involved, um, and again, as it seems quite possible given the scope of the fraud, there's tremendous pressure on them to see if there are other people who also might be involved for them to implicate. The most compelling question left unanswered by the federal charges against Mr. Madoff is whether or not any members of his family knew what he was doing or even helped him do it. With respect to the assets that have been reported to be held by his wife and perhaps assets held by other members of his family. The key there is going to be whether the government can trace back proceeds of the fraud to those assets. And if they're able to, even if they have to go far, far back, then the government is going to have a claim that those accounts should be taken from the family members and put uh, back into the government coffers so they're available um, to victims. The court-appointed trustee liquidating Mr. Madoff's assets is trying to get some money out the door to his victims as soon as possible. But that's a process that could take years.